Now, this place may look like a hairdresser's, but it isn't. They're getting rid of lice. They're very common. I've had them. And no matter what anyone says, they're not dangerous and they don't care if your hair's clean or dirty. They just love to live in it. You can use special shampoos to get rid of these troublesome parasites, but this girl has come for the five-star treatment. Meet 11-year-old Courtney. What's it like to have lice? I've had them four times and they're really irritating because you're always scratching your head in the middle of school lessons. My mum's always told me not to worry because you can always get rid of them. Well, that's good advice from your mum. Lice are totally treatable. Before they go any further, I'm going to have a look at what we're dealing with face to face. Crikey! Now, they may look icky, but lice are very common. Studies have shown that as many as one in three children are likely to get head lice during the year. So how do we get rid of them? Meet Justine Armitage. She's a head louse's worst nightmare, and she's got a rather special technique. We'll hoover Courtney's hair with a specialist lice hoover. Did she say lice hoover? A specialist lice hoover. That's affirmative. For every live lice there is, We'll catch it in the filter, so we can count how many there are. Is it quite fun doing it? Is it quite satisfying? Yes, quite mouth-watering when you see lots. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we can suck up. Make sure you get into the corners. After a thorough treatment, how's Courtney coping with being, uh, hoovered? Nice. She likes... Time to see what Courtney's bonds has been keeping secret. So we've managed to catch several lice, and you can see them crawling around in here. So why do lice love hair so much? Well, it's warm, it's near a blood supply, your scalp, which is what they feed on, and they can also anchor their eggs to hair, which means they're very safe and well protected. Your hair is the perfect environment for head lice. Lice make you feel itchy because they poo on your head. Now that's disgusting, but it isn't dangerous. And in fact, it's quite useful because it's the itchiness that lets you know you've got them. Now we've caught the adult lice, but the next step is to find the eggs. A special fine tooth comb is scraped through Courtney's hair to remove them. Let's see how many we've combed out. Oh, you've got loads. One louse can lay a hundred eggs at a time. They're also called nits. A week later, they'll all hatch into lice, and those lice just keep breeding. So at the end of the month, one louse has become a thousand head lice. Just as well we've got these guys out. How are you feeling, Courtney? Fabulous. <laughs> Absolutely. So that's head lice. And they're not dangerous, but they are unpleasant.